Hi, this is Larry Schultz, and I just wanted to do a little demonstration of uh, how I do uh, rail extrude. Uh, I've seen some people having some issues with it, but uh, what we do is we just go into the Create tab, and let's go to Spline Draw, and let's just create a spline from, doesn't matter which view, just keep clicking, just click these down. And then we can grab each, any of these nodes and shape it. Okay. Space bar to drop the tool. And let's go to polygon mode. Uh, splines, are, even though they're not really a polygon, are treated as sort of a polygon. If you notice when I select it, there's a little diamond on one end. That's the head, and then this, this is the tail of the spline. So we use the head as the starting point for where we do our rail extrude. And what I do is this. I kind of just go into, uh, um, let's just pick this as a, a layer two. The upper right here is the uh, foreground layer. And then layer one with our spline is the background layer. That's going to be our rail. And let's go to create. And I'm going to just make a box. And let's kind of make it like this, just a small box here. And we can see, like, here's our, again, our spline is uh, over here. And here's our box, so let's just click on that T for move. Let's just bring it right there. And let's also make sure that it's aligned from the side view as well. Let's bring it up. So we're kind of near the head of that that uh, and Shift A to fit the selected. And then one thing I want to do is I'm going to hit the D key for display and make sure show normals is on and we can see the normal is the direction of the face of the polygon that little dotted line so what I'm going to do is this I'm going to hit Y for rotate and I'm going to align this with that spline so see the spline and the dotted line form just form a straight line here and I want to do the same thing from this side that direction Y for rotate T for move and just get it lined up as much as best I can okay and let's zoom out a little bit so we can see from here we look in the perspective window again how that normal line is sort of lining up with the spline and then once I'm satisfied with the layout I'm going to go to multiply and more Real extrude, and we can just leave it at the default here, and see so it creates this nice little tube. And if I hit the tab key, it turns it into a sub D. And we have other options. We can undo this, and um, undo it one more time. Now. If I want to create UVs along this, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go in here under T, down here at the bottom right where we have our V maps. Go to New, and let's just call it uh, Tube, and just and try to find find the axis that best shows us. I'm going to do it on the, the Y planar projection. Create. And here's what it looks like in the UV 
texture view. Control T for drag, and I'll just kind of flatten it out a little bit more. So that's our UV map for that single polygon. And let's go to our back to our back view for this one. So let's rail extrude again. So now when we do this, you notice that these light up or make UVs. We can say none along the U or the V. And let's just say, uh, let's go uniform knots. What that does, is it looks at the points on the spline and it'll generate more geometry along those curves where you have more points. Like so. And then we go under UV, our UV texture view and see if here's our See our UVs. So you got you have to create the UV map first on your template poly that you're going to extrude, and then back in sub patch mode. So if we're going to do something like animate UVs along this, and this is the way we've got to do it. Okay, so pretty pretty straightforward. But remember the the trick is getting the alignment right on that, and then uh, going from there.